Hi, my name is Tori Hill, and today we will be talking about triangles. By the end of this lesson, you will know what the 180 degree rule is and what the properties of a right triangle are. So as you can see, I have drawn out three different triangles. The first one has two 45 degree angles and a 90 degree angle. The second one has a 110 degree angle, a 30 degree angle, and a 40 degree angle. And the last one has an 80 degree angle, a 70 degree angle, and a 30 degree angle. So would you mind coming up here and doing these addition problems with me? Sure. Thank you. So, um, 90 degrees plus 45 degrees plus 45 degrees is 180. Good. 110 degrees plus 40 degrees plus 30 degrees is 180 degrees. Good. And 80 degrees plus 30 degrees is 110 degrees plus 70 degrees is 180. Good. Thank you. So, can you tell me what these three triangles have in common? They all seem to add up to 180 degrees. Good. So, although they look different, all triangles will add up to 180 degrees. That is called the 180 degree rule. So, before we go on, I want to talk about why we are having a lesson on triangles. Why are these important to study? Well, when you take the ACT, these will be very important in the math section, so it's important that we get this down. So let's go on to right triangles. All triangles are categorized by their largest angle. Can you tell me what the largest angle is in this triangle? It seems to be 90 degrees. Good. So, as you can see, this is a 90 degree angle, which is called a right angle. That is why we call this a right triangle, because it has a 90 degree angle. So let's take it a step farther and talk about why a right triangle will always have a 90 degree angle. So can you tell me what the rule was that we just spoke about before? Sure. It was the 180 degree rule, and it stated okay. that Every angle in a triangle must add up to 180 degrees. Good. So 180 degrees minus 90 degrees is what? 90. 90. Good job. So if there is only 90 degrees left for these two angles, then they must be less than 90 degrees. Right. And to take it a step farther, they must both be 45 degrees. If you changed this angle, of 45 degrees to bigger or smaller, then the 90 degree angle would also have to change, making it not a right triangle anymore. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. So let's move on to an activity. So in the above right triangle, which angle is the right angle? Um, and I've labeled each angle as A, B, and C. Um, it looks like it's B. Okay, and can you tell me why? Um, because it is the largest angle in that triangle. Good. So what would the other angles have to be? Well, if B already takes up 90 degrees, then A must be 45 and C must be 45. Good. All right, and the second question is, is the right angle always the biggest angle in a right triangle? Why or why not? Yes, because if it takes up 90 degrees, then the other two must be less than 90, making it the largest. Good. All right, do you have any more questions about the 180 degree rule or the right triangle? Um, no, I get it. Okay, good. Thank you.